Well, I hope you all are enjoying the course so far. I thought it was probably another time, a good time for a quotation to try to inspire you and to, uh, you know, keep you motivated through the end of the semester. So I have a quote here from Augustine of Hippo, uh, and he said at one point that hope has two beautiful daughters. Their names are anger and courage. Anger at the way things are and courage to see that they do not remain as they are. So I think this is a, a quote that's applicable in a lot of situations. Uh, you know, there are times of uh, notable social upheaval where uh, we demand that things change and to face those issues and to, uh, you know, get those issues changed and resolved for the better, for the progress of all, we need to have these attributes. We need to be angry at the way things are. We need to have courage also. Uh, there are also times in our personal lives where we need to uh, look at, at what we're doing and, and see what we need to do to change, to reach our dreams, to achieve our goals. So, uh, you know, some of us have goals that we've had for a long time, and it's important that we occasionally evaluate those goals and see what we're doing uh, that might be detrimental to reaching those goals and see what we can do to adjust and to uh, reach our goals in a better way. In the last uh, quote, I mentioned the importance of hope, hope that there is a better future ahead and how hope is the basis for working toward that future. But what is hope and, and how do we achieve hope? What do we need in order to believe that something better is out there? Well, first we need to have uh, the vision to see uh, what is the problem, what is actually the root of the issue. And then we need to uh, have that courage to uh, you know, express our displeasure with that scenario. So this is applicable, you know, in an educational level. You guys are trying to educate yourselves to become individuals that will change the way uh, that other people can live their lives and, and uh, improve their lives. Uh, and you guys are, are trying to become that source of hope for other people, trying to motivate other people to improve their lives and better uh, their existence through rehabilitation and through uh, these clinical approaches. So education is an important part of your dreams and your goals. So you have to, and, and through your education, there will be times of struggle, there will be times of doubt, there will be times when you aren't meeting the bar that you set for yourself or uh, the bars that are out there that you need to overcome, these these challenges and barriers that you need to break through. And so you need this vision to see what's getting in your way. Sometimes uh, we need to know uh, not just when to be angry, but how to direct our anger. Sometimes we need to direct that anger at ourselves because we're not meeting the bar, because uh, something is getting in our way or we are getting in our own way. We're not uh, you know, putting in the effort, we're, we're slacking off. Sometimes the anger needs to be directed outward. Sometimes there's something uh, out there that's keeping us from achieving our goals and we need to, uh, you know, direct that anger appropriately. But first we have to have the vision to see uh, what that obstacle is, to see the true nature of that obstacle. It's also important that our anger doesn't turn into hatred because hatred is a negative thing but anger can be a positive force for change and motivation. Anger motivates us to change something about ourselves or our environment to make it better and that vector, that journey of making things better is the human journey. The human journey is from starting at one point and changing ourselves and changing our environment to make our existence better. That's the nature of progress and that's the nature of our human species. 
is that improvement. So take that vision, uh, that clear vision, and identify these obstacles in your way. Use that sense of anger to motivate you to get you the courage to change those things that are in your way, whether it's inside or whether it's outside, whether there's obstacles out there or obstacles inside. Maybe there's a voice in your head telling you that you can't do it. Well, that voice is wrong. I've seen uh, students, uh, numerous students, come through, uh, struggle, and then achieve great success. Uh, you know, it's within you to make that change. It's within you to see what's in your environment and to see what's holding you back and have the courage to let that go and to, and to surpass that barrier that's keeping you tied back or that anchor. So use this concept uh, to make sure that you are being the best that you can be so that you can motivate others in your future careers to be the best that they can be and to achieve the dreams that they have for themselves and the dreams that they may not even realize they can achieve or the dreams that they don't even realize uh, that are worth dreaming about because, uh, you know, maybe they don't even realize they can uh, make, make it that far. So, uh, in short, be the hope uh, that other people need you to be and uh, make sure that you're making progress and, and breaking through these barriers. Uh, so, I, I hope this gave you something to think about. And I hope that uh, you're enjoying the class and, and uh, uh, seeing this as part of that journey along your way to achieving your own dreams. Thanks.